What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be giving the game day report for the Miami Dolphins game against the Patriots today. Um, so, Jordan Poyer is going to be out, which which does suck. Um, in reaction to that, we have elevated um, Nick Needham, who can play safety and corner for us. So, I think he's probably just going to be a little bit of depth. I imagine that Marcus May and Elijah Campbell will probably split that role. Um, as far as replacing him today for the start, uh, Jalen Phillips unfortunately went out for the year with that um, torn ACL. Uh, that's going to be really rough. We signed Tyus Bauer, Bowser from Baltimore's practice squad. That that's mostly just going to be a uh, rotational piece, really depth guy. Um, so that's also really really rough. We uh, we re-signed Tim Boyle from our practice squad again because. Um, Skylar Thompson is questionable. Uh, Kendall Fuller and Teron Armstead should be good to go, which is huge. David Long, Raheem Mostert, same thing. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing them. Uh, Odell is supposed to play today. I don't know how he's going to look. Um, this week was the first time he ever even practiced with the Dolphins since he signed here. Uh, and now we're kind of throwing him out there. We don't know what kind of shape he's in. Um, how well he knows the playbook. We don't know any of these things. Um, the only good thing, though, is that him and Tyler Huntley did play together a little bit in Baltimore, so hopefully that kind of helps both of them um, feel a little bit more comfortable. Cam Smith participated all week in practice, so he's listed as questionable, but I feel like he'll probably play. Um, but possibly not. I mean, that could be why they elevated Nick Needham, because he does play corner and um, safety. So, I mean, that could be a thing. Um, as far as the Patriots go, they've got a lot of injuries too. I mean, uh, on their offensive line alone, it's actually crazy. <laughs> um, Nick Leverett, their center, Layden Robinson, their right guard, their left tackle, Vidarian Lowe, they're all listed as questionable. Um, let's see, let me see where... Yeah, uh, Nick Leverett had uh, had limited participation in practice all week. Same with Vidarian Lowe um, and Layden Robinson. So I kind of feel like they'll probably play, but they are banged up. So that is definitely something to consider. Um, Kedrick Bourne has been elevated to their active roster. So I feel like he'll probably play. Had limited participation in practice all week as well. Same with, uh, well, actually, K.J. Osborne didn't practice at all um, this week. He's listed as questionable, but we'll see. He has a shoulder injury. We'll see if he plays. Um, Kyle Duggar also didn't practice all week, and he's listed as questionable. I would be surprised if he plays. Jabril Peppers is officially out, so they are definitely beat up in their defensive back core. Uh, Jonathan Jones and Marcus Jones are both um, listed as questionable as well. Christian Barmore is out. Anthony... Uh, uh, and Fernie Jennings is questionable. So they, de they definitely have a lot of injuries, too. Even if some of these guys play, they are still banged up. Now, as far as um, <clears throat> the Patriots' strengths, uh, I'll start with the offense. It's pretty much the running game. Um, they have a really, really good running game. Ramondre Stevenson is a very, very efficient back. He's played very well. Um Shit, uh, even in fantasy for me, I got him in a couple leagues. For I've used him as a flex spot quite a few times this year, and it's worked out. Uh, he does have a fumbling issue, though, so I'm hoping that we can take advantage of that. Um, but behind him, Antonio Gibson has been playing very good football as well. Uh, so, I mean, they do have a pretty good one-two punch. Jacoby Brissett is fine. Like, he's nothing crazy. Uh, same with the receiving core. Rookie Jalen Polk is a pretty good player. Um, like I said, K.J. Osborne and Kendrick Bourne, they're both banged up. Demario Douglas, Tyquan Thornton, Kayshawn Booty, Javon Baker, those guys are all like okay rotational pieces, nothing crazy. Tight end, Hunter Henry, Austin Hooper, um, decent little one-two punch. Sheen Bell uh, <laughs> doesn't really get used like I would think he would, especially in this low-powered offense. Uh, coming out of college, he was a guy that could play tight end, wide receiver, and running back. Uh, so I'd be using him all over the place. Kind of a jack-of-all-trades. But um, their their offense really isn't anything crazy. Um, the big thing is going to be trying to stop that run. 
Because Ramondre Stevenson and Antonio Gibson, those dudes are fantastic. Uh, if you can take those two dudes away in any way, <laughs> um, I think we're going to have a lot more success against the Patriots offense with Jacoby Brissett and this uh, pretty mediocre receiving core. Um, as far as their defense goes, it is pretty banged up, but it is still really good. Uh, their D-line is really good. Um, they play pretty well up front in general. Uh, linebackers are solid. Like I said, their DBs are definitely banged up, um, so that is going to be a concern for them. Um, Christian Gonzalez is playing fantastic football at corner. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he follows Tyreek Kill a little bit, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. Uh, so far this year, he pretty much has been following the number one receiver, but because their defensive backs are so beat up, like right now, Christian Gonzalez is the only starting defensive back for them that doesn't have an injury designation. Um, Jabril Peppers is officially out. Kyle Duggar, like I said, didn't practice, so he looks like he's probably going to be out. Jonathan Jones and Marcus Jones, like I said, they're starting nickel and they're starting other corner. Uh, they're both listed as questionable, so like they're pretty beat up. Um, and I really wouldn't say that right now any one of our receiving core or any of our receivers is really killing it right now. So I don't. I mean, he might follow Tyree Kill, but he might not. We'll see. Um, he might even kind of change things up depending on uh, who seems to be getting the ball more. But um, watching the tape, he he has been following number one receivers quite a bit. So we'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, we're going to have to try to find a way to run the ball on these guys uh, because I'm not confident in our ability to throw the ball even against the injured um, defensive back room. Um, I'm just really not. Uh, Tyler Huntley, like I said, hopefully, you know, second week starting with us, third week with the team. Hopefully he's getting a little bit more confident. Hopefully having a guy like Odell, who he's thrown a touchdown to before, um, kind of helps him out. But we shall see. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.